Alright guys, this is my grammar style Pogra, which I nearly forgot to do a video about. I got this at the British Triangle Society Convention back last May when I got my geniculata and my brachypalm vegans. And I got this as well. Um, I've had it since it was a... I don't know if, if I did any videos when this was a small spidling. But I got this probably at about a half an inch specimen. It's growing very, very well. Eats very, very well. The fangs, even though it's a spidling, are massive for a spidling, relatively speaking. I keep this very, very simply. I keep it just like I would a Gramostola rosea. And it's a fantastic looking tarantula. I'm looking forward to it growing more in size because it will look jet black for those of you that don't know. Very velvety jet black. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice tarantula. Really, really nice. It's in pre-malt at the moment as we speak. It didn't eat the last roach that I gave it, which is unusual. It's usually a very, very hungry eater. So I shall do an update video when it sheds. But these guys are really easy to take care of. Very, very easy. Like I said, just keep it like a Giro Zero and you'll be fine. Um, that's a Chilean rose for those that don't know. Um, these guys are a little bit harder to get hold of though and a little bit pricier. But they're, in my opinion, much nicer, much, much nicer, and much more interesting, in my personal opinion. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Okay, I don't know if you can quite see see the pokey yet. It, it, you'll see it if it moves, but if you look to where the bark is, near the bottom, you can see the leg. I can't point because I'm holding the camera in my right hand, the, the torch on my left. But anyway, this guy is awesome. Very, very quick. Quite a feisty feeder. Again, it molted once with me. I've had it since September. There you go. You see that move? Yeah. It's quite shy, but then I suppose with it being so young, that's understandable. Very, very quick, like I said. And these guys get big. These guys get really big. Um, I'm not looking forward to having to rehouse this one at all. It should be interesting though. Um, it's a very, very attractive looking spider. Really like the look, the look of it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing its more adult, adult skin. See what it looks like then. I keep this guy. I spray this guy about once a week, and I feed him about once a week on dubia roaches, and I've had absolutely no problems. Doing really, really well. No complaints. I like this one if you're into your pokies and I highly recommend it. I think it's a um, really pretty little post of theory. I, I would recommend it for anyone and I would recommend Poxicator on RFUK as a very, very good seller to anyone. I would recommend them to anyone. So yeah, they're all my spidlings. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit out of it. Basically, I think the important thing with spidlings is, is I check mine every single day, sometimes, usually twice a day to be honest, um, and you just need to make sure you don't let them dry out too much, they're very susceptible to, either way actually, if you keep them too humid then they're very susceptible to, to mould or they're very susceptible to dehydration. I'd be more worried about dehydration than I would keep them too humid to be honest. Pardon me, as long as you've got good ventilation then you should be fine, but even so, I don't think spidlings are as fragile as everyone says. I've had no problems whatsoever, barring my HNC community, which is not so much a problem of the spidlings, but it's more my incompetence, or my, not necessarily my incompetence, but my lack of knowledge on communities. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And my next video will be about my terrestrial tarantulas. So, check out that one when it comes up. Also, my, my Brazilian whiny has been sold. Uh, it's come up to molt at the moment. It's laid down its its um, molting matter silk, I suppose you could call it. So I'm expecting it to molt any day now, really. So I'm not going to send it out until it does and until the weather picks up a little bit, warms up a bit. So cheers, guys, and subscribe and spread the word. See you soon. Bye.